Today's lesson is called The Creation of Thor's Hammer. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. My name is Roger, and today we're going to continue to talk about this、uh, story from Norse mythology. It's all about how Thor's hammer came to be, how it came to be created. And so far, the story has focused on Loki, the god of mischief. He cut off Thor's wife's hair. Thor was angry. He was going to break Loki's bones. So Loki said, "Oh, please take me to the dwarves." And then the dwarves did something for them.、Uh, he made a stunning mane of hair to act as Sif's replacement there to get her hair back. But the dwarves also made a couple of gifts for Loki:、uh, ship, or at least some wooden pieces that could be folded up and put into one's pocket, and also a spear that would never miss the target. And of course, Loki was bragging about this. Some other dwarf brothers were angry about that. Loki kind of taunted them, "Hey, you'll never be able to make something that good." So they had a bet here: if they could make something better, then they could have Loki's head. They said, "Yes, we accept the challenge." And then, at the end of last day's program. Loki transformed himself into a fly. There you go. Loki wanted to make sure that these brothers couldn't outdo what his dwarves had done for him. So he is going to keep tabs on them. He transformed himself into a fly so as to watch over them and to monitor their progress. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a break right now. But don't go away. When we come back, we'll start reading from the second part of. A story called "The Creation of Thor's Hammer." The brothers began with Sindri manning the forge and Brocker the bellows. The fly bit Brocker's hand, but he did not falter. Sindri pulled a living boar covered in golden hair from the fire. Loki then bit Brocker's neck, but he ignored the pain. Sindri produced a golden ring from which eight more rings would fall every nine days. 各位好，第一部分我们看到的单字是名词 forge， 指锻造车间或熔铁炉。例如 ，The farrier stayed in the forge the entire afternoon making new horseshoes. 铁铁匠在铁工厂一个下午制作新的马蹄铁。另外 ，forge 这个字也可以当动词使用，有锻造或打造的意思。所以可以说 ，Kyle and Lewis forged a strong friendship over the years. 多年来 ，Kyle 和 Lewis 建立了深厚的友谊。接下来我们看到的单字是 bellows， 这个字是名词，指风箱或鼓风机。像是 The man uses the bellows to make the fire burn better。那位先生用风箱让火烧得更旺盛。而 bellows 去除字尾的 s， 则可以做动词，指大声发出或大声喝道。举例来说。The homeless guy suddenly bellowed out a laugh and scared the passing-by kids. 街友突然发出一声大笑，吓到路过的小朋友们。再来，我们看到的单字是动词 falter， 指踟蹰不前、动摇或犹疑。例如 ，A good manager does not falter when making a decision. 一位好的公司负责人在做决定的时候不会犹豫不决。而 falter 这个字在字尾加上 ing。Faltering 指的是衰退的或蹒跚的。可以说 ，Blake's faltering performance is unusual since he usually does such a good job. Blake 表现不佳很不寻常，因为他通常都把工作做得很好。接着我们看到的单字是名词 boar， 指公猪、野猪。像是 ，Boars seem to live a very different life from pigs. 野猪似乎过着与猪相差很多的生活。Okay, let's、uh, summarize the first part of today's lesson. 
Now the brothers here they began with Sindri manning the forge and Brocker the bellows. Okay, so they set to work here. They started to try to teach Loki a lesson here. So they had different jobs. They had different responsibilities. First of all, we've got Sindri. He's going to man the forge. To man usually means you're in charge of controlling some machines. Maybe the two workers at the convenience store have separate. Separated their jobs. Hey, I'll man the cash register, and you man the coffee machines. You take care of all the coffee, and I'll accept all the money. That's what manning means here. He's manning the forge, and forge here is just some kind of facilities, or some kind of workshop that specializes in creating things, especially things made out of metal. There you go. If you're manning the forge, you might be the person in charge of forming that hot molten metal into something when you're trying to make a sword or something like that. When you're trying to work with metals, yes. If you want to shape metals, you have to melt them down at very High temperatures, okay, and then someone has to make sure that that liquid metal goes into the right place and ultimately becomes the right thing. Let's say if you're trying to make a sword in a forge, you go ahead and you pour that liquid metal into a mold or something like that, so it starts to look like a sword. And you might also start to pound on that with a hammer, so as to make sure that yes, that sword begins to take the right. Form. Yes, usually swords are made in forges, but you can make other things in forges as well. So Sindri manned the forge. Brocker manned the bellows. Now remember, Loki is a fly, and this fly is watching over these brothers right now. But Loki is also the god of mischief. He loves to get into trouble, and next. He is going to try to get into some trouble. Yes, next the fly, the fly Loki bit Brocker's hand. But get this, he did not falter. Brocker did not falter. It's just a scratch. It's just a bite from a fly. I can keep on working. Of course, if you falter, you kind of、uh, lose your strength. You lose your ability to continue. Maybe you might falter if you get bad grades in school, and you might think about giving up. But no, don't falter. Keep forging ahead. So in any case, here Brocker did not falter after being bit by the fly. He continued to work. And then Sindri pulled a living boar covered in golden hair from the fire. Wait a minute. Pretty magical, well, huh? Yeah, I was gonna say you make swords and forges and stuff like that, right? Well, this is a story, and sometimes magical things occur. Out of this forge, out of the fires here, did not emerge a sword. No, no, no. Out of the fires here came a living boar covered in golden hair. Mm. That's amazing. Interesting. I'd like to have a head of boar hair if I could replace the hair on my head here. But a boar, of course, is like a wild pig. They usually have、uh, tusks or horns next to their noses, and、uh, of course, they are popular. Animals to hunt in the mountains of Taiwan. At least they were in the past. But this is a living boar that came from the forge. There, it was covered in golden hair from that fire, and Loki then bit Brocker's neck, but he ignored the pain. So Loki, of course, is a fly still, trying to stop these guys from making these things from the forge and from the bellows. He bit his neck, but Brocker, ha, he ignored the pain. That doesn't hurt. I'm going to keep on working. There you go. I'm going to keep on working the bellows. I'm going to keep that fire hot, so amazing things can continue to emerge from these fires. Yes, first, a living boar covered in golden hair emerged from the fire, and next, a golden ring came out of the fire. And you might be thinking, so what? Okay, it's just a ring. That's not magical, right? Well. This is a very magical ring. Get this, Sindri. He goes into the fires again, and Sindri produced a golden ring, from which eight more rings would fall every nine days. So this isn't an ordinary ring. This is a golden ring that makes. Other golden rings. How about that? Okay, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Loki struck again. This time on Brocker's eyelid. 
Blood poured into his eye and Brocker was unable to see clearly. Sindri pulled a hammer from the forge, one with perfect aim that would always return to its owner. Due to Loki's interference, the handle was shorter than intended. It was the most powerful weapon ever crafted, despite its one fault. Okay, let's move on now to the next part of our lesson. Boy, lots of things are happening in this story. Where we left off, Loki was trying to bite those guys, trying to stop them from making things with the forge and the bellows, but he wasn't having much luck here. They still managed to produce a living boar and a golden ring, and from that golden ring, eight more rings would fall every nine days. Pretty cool, huh? Now Loki struck. Rock again. He attacked again as a fly. This time on Brocker's eyelid. Okay, that might hurt. Actually, your eyelid, of course, is the skin that covers your eye. We blink our eyelids three or four seconds or something like that. So this time, Loki bit Brocker's eyelid, and blood poured into his eye, and Brocker was unable to see clearly. So yes, if you get bitten on the eyelid. Your eyelid is going to bleed. There's going to be blood coming from the eyelid, and where is it going to go? Right into your eye, and that made it difficult for Brocker to see clearly, at least with that particular eye. Again, I think that Loki here has gone too far. Okay, bite someone on the hand. Not a big deal. Bite someone on the neck. Not a big deal, but you're getting more and more sensitive. And then Loki next, part three. He bites this person. He bites Brocker on the eyelid. I can't think of a more sensitive piece of skin on the human body than the eyelid. So here Loki is getting aggressive, and I think he's gone too far. Don't bite people on the eyelid. That's a terrible thing to do. Anyways, yes, like Roger said, your eyelid—that's a piece of thin skin that covers your eye. But let's go ahead and take a look at an example sentence. You could say, "Hey, you can't be asleep. Your eyelids are still up, and your eyes are open." So yes, if you're sleeping, chances are your eyelids are closed. They have to be closed, unless you don't have eyelids, and I think that has happened in the past. But again. I digress. Anyways, Loki's gone too far. He bit Brocker's eyelid. There's blood in the eye. He can't see clearly anymore. Brocker can't, I should say. And next, Sindri. Even though Brocker can't see clearly anymore, Sindri is still working magic at that forge. Next, Sindri pulled a hammer from the forge, one with perfect aim that would always return to its owner. Hmm. Does that sound like Thor's hammer to you, there, Roger? It does. It kind of sounds like a boomerang, too. Of course, those things from Australia that、uh, return to the thrower once that person throws the boomerang. But in this particular case, it's a hammer that will return to the person who threw it, the owner of the hammer. And that's what happened here. Sindri did that. He pulled the hammer from the forge, and I guess that's going to be Thor's hammer in the future. But due to Loki's interference, the handle was shorter than intended. So yes, Loki's causing all sorts of trouble here because he's a fly biting them on the neck and on the eyelid and stuff like that. So I guess Sindri was distracted or something like that, and so therefore the hammer had a short. Handle that, of course, was due to or because of Loki's interference.、Uh, that's a noun here that just refers to when you block someone or when you impede the progress of somebody. You kind of、uh, make them slow down. That's interference. That's the noun, and the verb, of course, is to. Interfere! Don't interfere with my work. You're distracting me. I need to finish this. There you go. Anyways, an interference is someone who interferes in something or something that interferes with something. And like Roger said, it comes from the verb interfere. To interfere is to disrupt or to meddle. M e d d l e to meddle. In something, one way or another, if you interfere with something, you keep that thing from functioning properly. For example, due to Ron's interference, we weren't able to finish the project 
on time. Now further, the handle of this hammer was shorter than intended. So apparently Sindri here was trying to pull a full sledgehammer out of the forge there, but because of Loki biting Brocker's eyelid, apparently Brocker wasn't able to work the bellows anymore, and the fire wasn't hot enough, long enough, to produce that full handle. So you have a sledgehammer with a short handle. How about that? One way or another, though, the handle here, it says, was shorter than intended. By the way, here the word intended means planned or expected. And here the word intended, it comes from the verb intend. If you intend to do something, you want to do that thing. You aim to do that thing. That's what you mean to do. That's what you want to do. Like I said before, for example, you could say, I intend to study English while in college in England which makes total sense. Or I intend to work hard and eventually own my own company and be the boss. Okay, so unfortunately here, the handle was shorter than intended, and it was the most powerful weapon ever crafted, despite its one fault. So even though it had this one problem, this one fault, it was still a very powerful weapon. It was the most powerful weapon ever crafted. Here we've got the word crafted. That's, of course, from the verb to craft, which basically means to create something. We often talk about arts and crafts. Uh, their craft is a noun that just refers to things that we create with our hands, like uh, macrame baskets and things like that. But here, craft as a verb means to actually make something, to create something, to manufacture something. To make something, to make something usually with care and by hand. Okay. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. When we come back, we'll be wrapping up our story called The Creation of Thor's Hammer. Loki returned to the gods and presented them with the gifts, the hair and the hammer for Thor, the spear and the ring for Odin, and the ship and the boar for Freyr, god of fertility and peace. The dwarves demanded Loki's head, but Loki had not promised them his neck, which they would have to cut to get their prize. The dwarves instead sewed Loki's mouth shut to prevent him from telling further lies and causing more mischief. 第三部分，我们看到单字 fertility 这个字是名词，有丰饶或生殖力的意思。例如 ，Sandy accepts fertility treatments, hoping to get pregnant soon. Sandy 接受生育治疗，希望可以尽快顺利的怀孕。再来补充与 fertility 相关的单字 ，fertile, f-e-r-t-i-l-e, fertile， 它是一个形容词，指肥沃的、丰饶的。举例来说 ，This land has fertile soil. Making it an excellent location for a farm. 这片土地有肥沃的土壤，使它成为很棒的农场地点。最后，我们看到一个片语 ，cause or make mischief， 指制造事端、挑拨离间。例如 ，My mother was angry with my little brother for causing mischief at school. 妈妈对于弟弟在学校制造事端感到很生气。而片语中的 mischief 为名词，表示恶作剧。捣蛋或惹麻烦之事，所以可以说 ，The parents are worried that their stubborn son won't stop making mischief. 那对家长担心他们不听话的儿子会继续惹出麻烦事。Okay, so we've got these people busy making things for Loki. And Loki's got all these presents, so he returned to the gods and presented them with the gifts. So here are the gifts. Here are the presents: the hair and the hammer for Thor. Hopefully, that will make him happy. And then he's got some other gifts here: the spear and the ring for Odin, and the ship. Of course, the ship that can fold up into your pocket, and the boar, that wild pig. Those are presents for Freya. Who is the god of fertility and peace? So、uh, we've got a new character here, Freyr. Freyr has just received a gift from Loki, and Freyr is the god of fertility.、Uh, that's just all about women being able to bear children. Or you could also talk about the land being able to produce crops or food. Yes, Freyr, the god of fertility and peace. Now next, the dwarves. 
demanded Loki's head. Okay, but Loki had not promised them his neck, which they would have to cut to get their prize. So I guess the dwarves here they think that they won their bet with Loki, but Loki is a trickster. Ah, you want my head? Well, come and get my neck first. Cut my neck and. Well, they're not going to be able to do that, I don't think. Anyways, before we move on, let's talk about what it means to demand something. The dwarves demanded Loki's head. They were saying, "Give me your head." That's what they're saying. Yes, if you demand something, you ask for that thing in a forceful manner. You say, "Give me that thing." Yes, very simply, to demand is to ask for something or to call for something. While making it clear that you do not want to take no for an answer. Further, the word demand can also be a noun. A demand is just a strong request for something. For example, I demand to know where you put my wallet. That is my demand. Now let's wrap、mm. things up. Next, the dwarfs. The dwarfs. It says instead sewed Loki's mouth shut to prevent him from telling further lies and causing more mischief. Which is kind of weird. Sewed his mouth shut, so they took a needle and thread, and they sewed his mouth shut, just as if a doctor were giving someone stitches after an injury there, and they did that so that he would not tell any lies, he would no longer tell lies, and he wouldn't cause any more mischief. I guess that's a good solution there. Hopefully, Loki will no longer cause any more mischief. End of story. Okay, that brings us to the end of our story, but we need to hear from the Chinese teacher once again. Yeah. 各位同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。喜欢恶作剧的 Loki 洛基呢，他跟 Broker 还有 Sandra 这两兄弟打赌说。如果他们可以打造出更好的东西，就让他们摘下他的脑袋。好，那当这两兄弟开始动工 ，Loki 呢，他就化身成一只苍蝇来干扰他们。读到课文第二部分有一个句子是 ：Due to Loki's interference, the handle was shorter than intended. 由于洛基的干扰，这个握柄啊，也就是雷神之锤那个握柄，比预期的短了一些。好，那这边有一个单字 interference， 我们来学习它的字首字根。好 ，inter i n t e r 这个字首呢，表示在什么什么之间，像是 between 或者是 among 的语义。那它也可以表达在什么什么之中，就像是 in the midst 的语义。好，那么字根 f e r e 这个部分呢，它有突袭啊、攻击的意思。那么当人们在从事某种活动的期间里面，你突然去介入，那就不难联想到 interfere 这个动词，它就有妨碍啊、干扰、干涉、介入的意思。那我们接着在 interfere 后面加上名词字尾 e n c e， 它就变成名词 interference， 那就是干涉、介入或是干扰。顺便补充几个也有 inter 这个字首的单字，第一个是 international。inter 表示在什么之间嘛？那么 national 它是指国家的，在国家跟国家之间，那就表示这是国际性的，它是国际上的。好，那么第二个是 interject。我们说 inter 是在什么之间？那么这个 J E C T j e c t 它有丢掷的意思。同学们可以试着联想，当人家正在聊天谈话的时候，你突然丢出一些话来打断人家，那你这样应该可以联想到 interject， 它就有打断、插话的意思吧？好，那么第三个是 intersection。Intersection， 它的 inter 一样表示在什么之中。那么这个 s e c t sect 这个部分呢，表示切割。i o n 是名词字尾。那同学们可以想啦，我们要切生日蛋糕或者是切柳丁的时候，你就会在它里面先先切个十字，对不对？常常我们都会先切十字。所以 intersection 这个名词，你就可以联想到它有交叉或者是十字路口的意思。那其实这个字呢，最早是用来指这个几何学里面的焦点交。交叉线，那到后来它才用来指十字路口、交叉路口。好，另外句子里面呢，它有出现一个片语介系词叫 due to。due to 它表示因为、由于，那意思就跟 because of 或者是 owing to 是一样的，后面可以接名词或是动名词。可是要提醒同学们两个重点哦。第一个是 due to 跟 owing to 用法稍微比较正式一点。举例来说 ，The mayor was absent due to illness。
，市长他因病缺席。好，第二个重点是，只有 due to 跟 because of 可以摆在 be 动词的后面去当主词补语用。举例来说 ，their success was partly because of luck。他们的成功有部分是因为运气好。好，那么以上是今天重点整理，我们回顾今天的单词吧。Falter. The soldiers did not falter. Even as the enemy's bombs began falling closer and closer to them, eyelid. Some animals have a thin and clear third eyelid that allows them to see underwater while still protecting their eyes. Interference. Insisting he didn't need their help, the young boy grew upset at his parents' interference when he tried to tie his shoe. Intend. Virginia intends to take the driving test for her license this Friday. Craft. The carpenter crafted high-quality furniture and sold it in her shop. Demand. The customer demanded that the store allow him to return an item even though he had lost the receipt. 